driverless car. This is a connected car. What does it mean and what's Qualcomm's tech got to do with it? So this is our version of an, of an infotainment system and a wireless connection into the car. What we have is our 820A chipset, which is running an infotainment-based system. Okay. We also have two 5G reference boards, which are doing connectivity in and out of the car to, to the world and to also to uh, infrastructure elements. All right. And you also have the X50 modem uh, fitted right. in the car. So essentially, this is not a driverless car, but does it have the capability of becoming a driverless car, say, in the future? Yes, it does. This is a precursor to a lot of things okay. that will happen for the driverless car. And one more thing, just to clarify, this is just a concept car. It's not a real car that's ready to go on the road. You're still working on it. But we'd love to know what's inside. So can we just get right in? Yep. All right, let's go. side mirrors. Yes, we took the side mirrors out. So one of the things we did in this car is we have our 820A op, um, automotive grade chipset running in here. We also have six cameras. In there we now bring the cameras out. So this is our outside cameras. Okay. So as you can see if you go out. So that's what, that's okay. So this is the outside camera now. This is now your view on your side mirrors. Got it. The other thing we did was we implemented a surround view. So based on the car we have a surround view so this can be spun around and you can, right see, here. Okay. can see this. The other thing we have in the car is our, our uh, X50 okay. um, 5G modem. Mm -hmm. This gives us the ability to do high-speed downloads into the car. So with a with a so four, how quick are the downloads? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to this is a 15 gigabyte file. Uh huh. So when I go to download this file, this file is going to download 28 seconds. 28 seconds. So we're running at 4.1, 4.2 gigabit per second. Okay. Other thing that we're demoing in the car is our CV to X. So what CVDX is, is it's a connection to a stop light. So outside the car, we have a we have a fully functioning stop light, just like you would see on the street. Sure. So the car is talking to the lights outside, and essentially that was the idea of IoT. Yeah. So right now he's broadcasting signals. So he's telling me, is the light green? Is the light okay. yellow? And he's also giving me timer status in between. So as we come up right now, we have a signal coming up that's saying 26, 26 seconds 26 to green. Seconds. Excellent. One of the one of the use cases for this might be as you're driving down the road, you have a green light. Mm -hmm. You put your turn signal on to make a right hand turn. Somebody hits a walk signal. We get that signal from the walk signal. We get a warning up here that will say, There's watch out for the pedestrian right. because the walk signal is active. Right. All right, Carl. So that looked extremely interesting. Top three features uh, that you showcased were infotainment, the fact that your car can actually talk to the infrastructure outside, which is pretty much the idea of uh, Internet of Things when it started off and also the fact that it has 3D mapping, the, the side view mirrors, everything. But there's one more cool feature that this car packs in. Hey Snapdragon, ask my car to close windows. 